Hey everybody, this is Lee Majors, and this Algebra 2 lesson is a review on rational expressions and equations. Uh, let's begin. Okay, so perform the indicated operation and simplify. Okay, so here we're multiplying two rational uh, fractions right here. Okay, you got a factor, so I'm going to factor each one. So factors of negative 24 that add to negative 2 are positive 4 times a negative 6. Factors of negative 10 that add to 3 are positive 5 times a negative 2. Here I can GCF a 3x out, and I get this. And here I can GCF an x squared out. And then you can see all the common factors I see on top and on bottom. So I can go ahead and cancel them out. And there's my final answer right there. Okay, nice and easy. All this stuff is dealing with factoring. Here's number two. Okay, I'm going to flip it first. So there it is flipped. And now I'm going to factor it. So I GCF a 3 out of these two guys, a 6 out of these two guys. Factors of negative 32 that add to... Negative 4 are positive 4 times a negative 8. And then I pulled an x out of those two guys. And then I canceled out the common factors. And I'm left with uh, the, the lone x plus 4 factor over uh, 2x on the bottom. All right, looking good so far. Haven't made a mistake yet. Uh, okay, so this one here, when you're adding, we have to have common denominators. Whenever we add or subtract, we have to have common denominators, which means we have to factor those denominators and see what's in common. Remember, least common denominator is most of every factor. I see a 6, I see an x plus 4, I see another x plus 4 that's included over from this one over here, and an x plus 5. So my LCD is going to be 6, x plus 4, x plus 5. So I'm going to multiply each fraction times 1, so it doesn't change the value, but it's going to be the missing piece of this LCD. So this one's missing x plus 5, so I'm going to go x plus 5 over x plus 5 over here. This one's missing 6, so 6 over 6 is going to go over here. Remember, that's just 1 right there. Those red guys are just 1. Okay, now I'm going to distribute the x through and distribute the 6 through, and I get that mess right there, and then clean it up, and I get that as the final answer. Okay, and always leave the denominator factored. And I would look to see if this guy factors right here, you guys. Factors of 12 that add to 11. There aren't any factors of positive 12 that add to 11. There's factors of negative 12 that add to 11, but that's a positive 12, so this doesn't factor. So that's my answer. And leave, always leave the denominators in factored form. Uh, okay, so solve, check for extraneous solutions. So uh, this one here, you have a fraction equals a fraction. Um, probably your best bet is to cross multiply on this um, and that's what I would do you guys cross multiply so so this times this equals this times this okay and that's what this says and then I'm gonna foil and distribute right here alright so I get um, uh, x squared plus 3x minus 28 equals 10x minus uh, 10 okay quadratics it's a quadratic because it's a squared and quadratics we always want to make them equal to zero so if they're equal to something else then let's get rid of it so I'm going to subtract 10 X from both sides and add 10 to both sides so the minus 10 X is going to go underneath the 3 X and the plus 10 is going to go underneath the 28 okay so I can make it equal to zero alright so there it is X squared minus 7 X minus 18 equals uh, zero now we factor this factors of negative 18 that add to negative 7 are negative 9 times a positive 3. Okay, so factor and solve. So now I set the factors equal to 0, so x plus 9 equals 0, and you subtract, and you add, I'm sorry, x minus 9 equals 0, so you go plus 9 plus 9. x plus 2 equals 0, so I go minus 2 minus 2, so I get 9 or, whoops, that should be a negative 2 right there. Let's fix that right now. This should be a negative 2. Negative. See that negative? It was there all the time. Dang made a mistake. I always make mistakes on these. Catch them during the video. Sometimes I don't catch them until later after the video is made. I'm sure you found them already. Uh, I make them all the time in class, you guys. Okay, on this one, whenever you have uh, 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 more than one fraction on one side, you have to multiply by the least common denominator. We want to get rid of the denominators. Okay, so if I, in the very end, you guys, if I get an answer that's uh, negative 1, or uh, actually positive one would work over here also. I can't have zero in the denominator, so I wouldn't be able to use a negative one or positive one. Let me go back over here, you guys. Make sure I didn't get any extraneous solutions. Here back in the beginning, x couldn't equal one, and x couldn't equal negative seven. And since these numbers don't equal any one of those, those answers are good. But if one of them was one of those, I'd cross it off and say it was an extraneous solution. And extraneous just means a false solution. All right, so here we go. Going to uh, factor those denominators right here. So x plus 1, x minus 1 is the difference of squares right there. Uh, look for my lessons on factoring. I'll have some detailed lessons on factoring also. 
uh, and I'll put it in my playlist, you guys, at, uh, at Mr. Mathblog. Okay, so um, anyway, so now I'm going to multiply everything by the common denominator, uh, x plus 1, x minus 1. So everything gets that, you guys. And then, and then what happens is it makes those denominators disappear. Okay, and then so what I did is I crossed off the x plus 1s here. So it's going to be 3x times x and then 3x times negative 1. Over here, those cancel, so I'm just left with that 12. Okay, I went ahead and put this back as x squared minus 1 because then I'm going to distribute 2 times this and 2 times this. And so that's what this next step is right here. Okay, and then clean it up on the right. I get plus 10 because 12 minus 2 is plus 10. And remember, quadratics, we have to make them equal to 0. So I'm going to go minus 2x squared minus 2x squared underneath this guy right here. And then I'm going to go minus 10, minus 10, which is going to go over here, and then clean it up right there. So I get a 1x squared minus 3x uh, minus 10. Remember, 3x squared minus 2x squared gave me 1x squared. And then minus 3x, and then I subtracted off that 10. Now it equals 0. Factors of negative 10 that add to negative 3 are negative 5 times a positive uh, 2. So uh, I get x equals um, uh, negative 2 or 5.